we've got six more weeks of winter, apparently. Last night, the president was honored to host the swearing in of the next Secretary of State, Rex Tillerson, in the Oval Office. As the president said last night, Secretary Tillerson is a man who's already respected all over the world uh, for the tremendous life that he's led, and now will bring his years of experience to the critical task of making our nation more safer, more prosperous, and more secure. We'll strengthen our alliances, form new ones, and enhance America's interests throughout the world. Now on to the events of today. The president started his day by attending the National Prayer Breakfast. It was a continue, it's a tradition that continued over six decades going back to President Eisenhower. The president thanked the American people for their faith and prayers that have sustained and inspired him, noting that the five words that he has heard more than any others as he's traveled throughout the country are, I'm praying for you. He encouraged Americans to remain a tolerant society where all faiths are respected and where all of our citizens can feel safe and secure. Oh, thank you. Why is the administration easing sanctions against Russia? Not at easing the sanctions. Time the that... Treasury Department, it, it is, from what I understand, it is a fairly common. It's a fairly common practice for the Treasury Department, after sanctions are put in place, to go back and to look at whether or not uh, there needs to be specific carve-outs for uh, different you know, either industries or, or products and services that need to be going back and forth. But I would refer you back to the Treasury Department on that one. Sean, hold on, Sean, the language on the Treasury Department website suggests that you are, in fact, easing sanctions that authorizes certain transactions right. with the Federal Security <laughs> Service. Does that not suggest a shift? No, it doesn't. From it's a, it is, from what I understand, a regular course of action. The Treasury does quite often when there are sanctions imposed, but I would refer you back to the Treasury Department. Um, could I ask you to describe the tone of the call on the weekend between the Australian Prime Minister and the President, uh, and also outline the President's concerns about the refugee dealing question. And I asked you this earlier this week, but could you clarify whether the deal is on or not? Because the President tweeted last night, I will study this dumb deal, implying that he's still considering it. Right. Uh, the President had a very cordial conversation with Prime Minister Trumbull um, where they went through an extensive discussion of, uh, of this deal. The President is unbelievably disappointed in the previous administration's deal that was made. Thank you, Sean. Um, I've seen some criticism of the President's remarks at the prayer breakfast this morning. Um, can you shed any light on why he thought that was a good venue to mock The Apprentice for its ratings? I, I, look, Mark Burnett, the creator of The Apprentice, who is a longtime supporter of the prayer breakfast, but also has a personal relationship with there, he meant it as a lighthearted moment. And I think if you look at the totality of his remarks, um, and they were absolutely beautiful. And, and I think um, to hone in on that, it was a lighthearted moment he was trying to have with a big supporter of the National Prayer Breakfast and a personal friend. Guys, I'll be out tomorrow. I want to make sure we all get to see the president now. Thank you, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.